Hey, what's going on, everybody? Um, I legitimately have no idea what made me want to review this. But, um, I, it's been a couple weeks, and I want to do a review, and for some reason, this guy was calling out to me. So, we're going to be reviewing the Titans Return Overlord figure, who was a remold of a Sky Shadow. Really? Sky Shadow's a pre-mold, because clearly that mold was meant for Overlord. And Sky Shadow just came out first because, hey, here's a new mold, but it's really intended for Overlord, so you'll buy Overlord anyway. You know, that, that type of thing. Kind of like how Sentinel Primer's release, if you though it was clearly meant for Astrotrain, same with Optimus and Megatron, who were clearly meant to be Blitzwing and Octane, that sort of thing. <laughs> it's, um... I mean, it is smart business, but people wanted this mold as Overlord. So... But, um, regardless, um, here we have him in his two vehicle modes, which are the, the, uh, Mega Jet and the Giga Tank. Um, they're both pretty decent. Um, the tank's, uh, an exact, the, um, it's the exact same thing as Sky Shadows. Sky Shadows is black and red. This one is actually an entirely new sculpt, so. They can combine, because if you open up Overlord's chest, put him up here, there's two slots on the tank. Yeah, there, there, there you go. Like, an overlord can ride himself. Um, it's not, like, tight or anything. Actually, Sky Shadow does this a lot better. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. So he, of course, has his Titan Master, which I think is named Dreadnought. But it's supposed to be Giga. <coughs> and he turns into a head, and there you go. That was that was Titan's return was headmaster. So, but um, he was originally a power a god master or power master. So he didn't turn into a head. He turned into like an engine block, and he would um, plug into Overlord's chest, which you can still do. If you know they're Titan masters, you can just put them in his chest. Personally, I think it looks better if you do it that way. But there you go. Something you can do. They never actually did release um, Power Masters to properly do that, though the Japanese version does have that just molded as chest piece, as engine pieces. So I've been thinking about trying to find the Japanese version, but... <coughs> anyway. Let's go ahead and show off his base mode. So to do the base mode, we're gonna... We'll separate this like he's going into robot mode. We're gonna plug it in right here. So we got that going on. We'll fold the wings in, fold these pieces down, fold this up, and then we'll just go ahead and turn these babies around. It's very much, um, if you saw my big powered review, Diatlas is a remold of Overlord, so. Now you're supposed to fold this one down and fold these pieces out and leave that one up. Pulled. That comes off for some reason. Pull this piece off, turn it around, and then you can. Uh, actually, helps if you do that. And then you pull that piece down, plug this piece in right there, <coughs> and there you go. Um, Overlord's base mode. Of all the times return bases, he's probably the best one. Him and Blaster. But, you know, I don't really care for base modes in general. But you can do it, and the original Overlord did have a base mode, so there you go. And we'll get him in a robot mode now, so we're going to fold that down. Pull that out, push that up, and pull that up. Pull off the gun. Fold all that down, and fold these pieces up. <coughs> we'll get those out of the way. Fold those down, rotate them around, then we'll fold the feet up and then fold the connector pieces down because Titans Return, you could clip all the bases together, he'd connect the Trypticon, and it'd be all sorts of fun stuff. So, after you raise the camera and connect everything, you've pushed down the arms and fold out the hands, push this piece back, and then turn the head around. We'll give him his gun. We'll give him... This piece will plug into the side right there. And then we'll take uh, 
Dreadnought or Giga. Fold the head down, open that up, plug it in, push it down. And there you go, Overlord in his robot mode. Now, if you want to, you can just transform him without ever taking his head off. If you just want him to be a normal, tra a later sized normal transformer without a headmaster gimmick, he can be. So that's cool. I mean, Overlord looks awesome. I've always loved Overlord's design. He's actually, um, besides Death Saurus, my favorite Japanese Decepticon leader. I think he looks really cool. He's not like he's not Megatron or anything, but he is pretty cool. Now, this is an older leader class mold, right? So we compare them to leader classes nowadays. So just just bearing in, okay, I'm giving you some examples. So we have, I got two that are considered leader class now. Here we have the legacy Galvatron, who I do like. I do think he's an awesome figure. And we have the Earthrise Optimus. So leader class now <coughs> means if you're a Voyager with extra parts or slightly bigger Voyager. This was a leader class in 2016. Seven years ago. We've gotten a lot smaller since then. <coughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If you want a more recent example... I can give you a more recent example, just from this year. A more recent leader class example would be this guy, who I also have reviewed on this channel. Rise of the Beast Scourge. So still considerably smaller and they're both leader classes, so... Yeah, leader classes are shrinking. And I don't really like it. <laughs> Nothing I can do about it. That's just what Hasbro's doing nowadays. Let's go over his articulation. So, his head can do a full 360. No waste, but how he, given how he transforms. Not the end of the world. <laughs> Full 360 in their arms, up and down, up and down the shoulders, rotate the bicep. Mine is loose, but I've had this figure for seven years. Bend at the elbow. His wrist does bend, but no turn. Legs can go forward. They can go back. Knee, ankle pivot, in and out, turn. So he's got decent enough articulation. But, admittedly, the new figure, the newer figures do have better articulation, which is probably why they cost so much more. Even though they're a lot smaller and they don't feel as chunky as the older leader classes do. <coughs> Commander classes do, but they're, you know, $30 more. So, I miss the size of old leader classes. I do. But even back in the day, in my day, Cybertron Prime was a $40 figure and he was bigger than this. So... <coughs> leader class for Benjamin Fallen Optimus Prime with loads of articulation $40 and was bigger so and a super involved transformation but Overlord's a good figure but I will say if you do want this mold get the Japanese version it's much better it looks better and I've thought about picking it up multiple times I just it's not in the budget right now Overlord, though, is pretty cool, and he's the only representation of Overlord right now. So, if you have uh, God Jinrai, then you should get him to go with him. Because I don't think you can have... I think if you have an Autobot leader, you should get the Decepticon leader to go with him. That's why I really want Death Saurus. <laughs> I think this guy's pretty cool. Um, I like him. I like him quite a bit. He is my favorite of this mold, because there's Sky Shadow, there's him, and then there's Diatlas. And I think Overlord's the best of the three. In my opinion, I know there are people who prefer Sky Shadow, but I prefer Overlord. So, my cat does not scourge over. So, I'm going to wrap this video up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And we'll be around soon for more. Take care.